Hi, I'm Emily. I'm a trained clinical pharmacist working as a medical science liaison with Amgen. Today, we'll be talking about the LUMA program, which stands for Learn to Understand and Manage Severe Asthma. LUMA is a program that provides free asthma education to patients and caregivers. It's officially peak week, the time of the year in the U.S. where asthma flare-ups and hospitalizations are at their highest. I'm here to answer some common questions about asthma so you can feel equipped to work with your care team and create your asthma action plan. How many people are living with asthma? Severe asthma? That's a great question. You know, you might feel like you're the only one coping with asthma, but you are not alone. Nearly 25 million people in the United States live with asthma every day. And out of those 25 million people with asthma, about 10% have something called severe asthma. And this means that 2.5 million people have to take an inhaled steroid plus another controller medication every day to manage their asthma symptoms. How is asthma severity determined? Well, once you have a diagnosis of asthma, your healthcare provider will work with you to determine the severity of your asthma and whether your asthma is controlled or uncontrolled. Asthma can be mild, moderate, or severe. Severe asthma means that you require a high dose inhaled steroid plus another controller medication to manage your asthma symptoms. Asthma symptoms can be either controlled or uncontrolled. Your asthma can be uncontrolled at any severity level, whether it's mild, moderate, or severe. Uncontrolled asthma means that you still have symptoms despite taking your maintenance medications every day as directed by your asthma provider. Signs of uncontrolled asthma include frequent symptoms during the day, waking up at night due to asthma symptoms, using a reliever medication like a rescue inhaler more than two times per week, or having to limit your regular activity due to asthma. All these symptoms can stop you from living your life the way you want. This is why it's important to do everything you can to prevent those symptoms, including seeing your asthma care team regularly, working together to develop and stick with your asthma care plan, and taking all prescribed medications as discussed with your asthma provider. What kind of doctor do you see for asthma? If you're experiencing asthma symptoms, start by talking to your primary care provider about those symptoms. There are specialists who treat asthma, including allergists and pulmonologists. Talk to your primary care doctor about what they would recommend for your asthma. If your asthma is triggered by environmental factors like pet dander or allergens, it may be important to see an allergist. But if your asthma is caused by other factors like exercise or maybe respiratory illnesses, then a pulmonologist might be a better fit. Emergency rooms can help with acute asthma attacks, but are not a replacement for regular visits with your asthma care provider who can help get your asthma under control. What kind of treatments are available to treat asthma? There are a lot of treatments out there for you. Having a chronic condition like asthma can be overwhelming, but the good news is there are many treatments out there to help. All treatments are going to be individualized, so a specific person's treatment plan may not include all of the medications we talk about today, or it might include a combination of several. Asthma medications fall into a few main categories. They're short-acting inhalers, also known as rescue inhalers, these are used on an as-needed basis when you're having symptoms. These medications are intended to be used in emergencies only. If you're using your rescue medications frequently, let your asthma provider know. Long-acting controller medications are taken on a daily basis to help manage your asthma symptoms. These medications are different than the short-acting rescue inhalers. Long-acting controller medications provide symptom control on a daily basis to prevent asthma attacks from occurring. These medications must be taken every day to provide symptom control. Oral steroids can be used as an additional asthma control when needed. For example, when you're having an asthma attack. Biologic medications are targeted therapies that can help address specific problems with your immune system that can contribute to your asthma symptoms. And lastly, Allergy medicines can also be used to help control allergies that may be asthma triggers. We're answering four of the most common questions we get about asthma. 
Comment below to let us know what surprised you the most. One, how many people are living with asthma or severe asthma? Two, how is the severity of my asthma determined? Three, what kind of doctor you have to see for asthma? Or four, what kinds of treatment are available for asthma?